Hello, this is Evangelist Dr. Robert L. McKim Sr. from Carrollton, Ohio. I have made some videos in the past to show my ordentations and to say and to tell and teach how I was really ordained not on the internet like a lot of you moronic idiots like Conan O'Brien keep saying see that's the, that's the problem a lot of you people think it's funny it's not about fun and games want play fun? you want you know go go play your video games and stay off of YouTube because YouTube is for information not for fun and games look at that young guy that lives up around Cleveland Ohio that thought it was funny to uh, make fun of the dead hanging in trees in China Really? You think that's what it's all about? Fun and games? That's the problem with this world. That's the, that's the world that we are living in today. A world that wants to play instead of be serious. God's Word says, In 2 Timothy 3, perilous times and perilous men because men will be lovers of themselves, lovers of themselves, lovers of money, boasters, proud, blasphemers. Disobedient to parents. Didn't Jesus say that also that will happen? Thankful, unholy, unloving, unforgiving, slanderers, without self-control, brutal, despisers of good, traitors, headstrong, hardy, lovers of pleasure rather than lovers of God. Having a form of godliness, but denying its power. From such people turn away. Conan Bryan, you're a complete fool idiot. And you know, I'd like for you to say something. Because here's what he had to say about the Universal Life Church. But, let me remind you, he did not go to the legitimate Universal Life Church. He went to the illegitimate Universal Life Church. This is the Universal Life Church that he went to. See, so this one was established in 1977. Not by the Reverend Kirby Hensley. But by somebody that wanted to break away from the Universal Life Church and create their own Universal Life Church. This person has been found many, many, many times in the courts of uh, law that the ordinations are not even legal. Yeah, they might be incorporated, but in the incorporation of this church, it says... Let me get to it here. Sorry, I just I don't have it right up here right now. Hmm. 
think I remember I saved it here. I know I saved it here, I'm just trying to remember where it is. Okay, here it is. Articles of um, incorporation for the Universal Life Church Monastery. This might not be exactly the way it looks, but right here. Right here it says, this corporation is formed for religious purposes to advocate religions, religious faith and practice as taught by the Universal Life Church to perform acts of charity and further the belief of all people. And again, this is in where Seattle, Washington. George Freeman. George Freeman is the founder of this Universal Life Church. Not the Reverend Kirby Hensley. George Freeman. But again, okay, yeah, you can go to his website and become ordained instantly and print off your ordentation. If that's the way you want to go. Or you could do the right way. and go to the legitimate Universal Life Church website and go here to orientation you fill out this information become ordained But you don't receive your ordentation right away. Because it says here, please understand that there is no such thing as instant online ordentation. It says right there. Right there. Read it. Read it. Read it. Read it. Read it and understand it. The problem is, you don't want to understand it. You do not want to understand the truth because you don't like the truth. The truth it, to you is different than the real honest truth. You see, this is how the Universal Life Church ordains people through the mail, U.S. mail. My first, very first, my first ordentation, as I had said many times, was in 1989. 89, people. 89. Not 99, after, the, in, after there has been uh, the World Wide Web. There might have been the internet back then, but there was not the World Wide Web. Where you can uh, get on your own home computer and through either dial up, well basically dial up because that's all there was back then. Hooking up your computer to a phone line, dialing into a uh, server and getting online. How I received my ordentation is the same way that I can ordain. You see, this is my little card that I carry around with me. 
knows whose name is on it, Kirby. Han well, no, yeah. Linda, excuse me, Linda Hansley. Ker uh, Kirby Hansley's wife. This is back when she was still living. But on the back of this card, it says right here. It says, the, Univer the, the Universal Life Church certifies that the bearer of this credentials, whose name and address appears on the face of this card, is legally ordained to... Oh, excuse me, legally authorized to ordain new ministers into the Universal Life Church. I can legally ordain other ministers, people who come to me and want to be a minister, but I do not instantly ordain you. I will not instantly ordain you until you take uh, some tests and prove to me that you are sincere in becoming a minister of God Almighty Jehovah that you are a born-again Christian believer in Jesus Christ and filled with the Holy Spirit otherwise there's the door don't let it hit you on the way out someone is spreading lies about me that I am going to be performing gay weddings for a hundred dollars. If I get any emails asking me that, I'm turning them straight into the service department. Because that would be harassment. Asking me to perform Weddings I have mentioned many many times and I have on my Facebook page that I will not Because you don't care about you. That's the problem. You do not care about my faith You don't care about my faith. You don't care about my faith and my beliefs You want to walk right all over them with your fingertips on the computer and hide behind your computer and spread all these lies on your computers <laughs> yeah I had uh, this one website here or not I mean Twitter excuse me I just uh, where they were following me nope I need it let me go back So, I blocked them. But yet, for some unknown reason,
they're still able to uh, say things and do things where I can't see what they're doing. I want to play what Conan O'Brien did in this video real quick. See here's something else. Right down here is a video some guy says how to become a doctor in seven days. Well it takes longer than seven days. You get your material through the US mail. You take, you study, you take your test, then you send your test back through the U.S. mail. Again, I stress the U.S. mail, not online. Before I can marry Scott and David, I have to first become a minister. Now, there was a time when becoming a minister would take years of intense theological study. But, thankfully, in the age of the internet, I can go online and become a minister in just a few minutes. Instant online ordination. This is fantastic. And look, it comes... And again, that's the monastery website that he's going to. Not the Universal Life Church. Legitimate headquarters. Covers every religion. There's a yin-yang symbol. There's a star of David. There is what appear to be two radio towers. And then... Stuff. I realize I'm probably showing a bit of an insensitivity towards other religions, but it's just you're showing an insensitivity to God. Period. You stupid moron. First name, middle name, Christopher O'Brien. Okay, here it says email. I am over age 13. Yes. Submit ordination request. Welcome, Conan Christopher O'Brien, to the worldwide congregation of Universal Life Church ministers. Feels really good because looking back over the long process, all the work, the sacrifice, very satisfying to finally, two and a half years later, get this honor. It's not an honor. That's the problem right there in a nutshell. It's not an honor. Ordain means to appoint a Point somebody to an office, especially in the church. It's not an honor. Conan O'Brien, just like the rest of these idiots on um, on YouTube and um, Twitter. That's trying to mock me, and you're you're mocking too. You're mocking as well. You're mocking the legitimate way of becoming ordained. There's a lot of mockers and a lot of scoffers. This goes to prove that we are living in the last days, people. Wake up. As I've showed you yesterday, this person made a, uh, a vid video. Saying that I am uh, going to be marrying people. 
for a hundred dollar fee. Like I said, if you send you send me an email asking me to marry your same sex wedding for a hundred dollars. That's harassment. When I have said no many times, it is harassment. It is harassment. Because you can't listen. You want to harass. You want to bully. You want to pressure. You want to you want to try to back somebody into a corner. But not this man. Not this. Not not, not this preacher. Man, not this preacher man. You're not going to back me into a corner. Because you know you won't win. Call the authorities on me. Call the authorities. Get a real attorney to come after me. The problem is, if that uh, real attorney has any brain in their head and knowledge of the law, when I am being harassed and bullied and pressured to do something that is against my faith, they know they won't win. Unless you get a judge that doesn't like me too. But there's organizations out there too that will fight for me and on my behalf. The American Center for Law and Justice, for one. You know, you, you people think you're so smart. When in reality, you're so dumb. I wanted to see something else real quick here, too. Before I, um... Uh... Forget about it. Go back here to my channel. And somebody said that. They made a video. Maybe not. Other than what he has said, <coughs> as a reply, again, as I am. Um, Come Jesus, come Jesus. And no, I am not Jesus. Jesus Christ is the Son of God. I am, I am not Jesus Christ. I am a child of God, but I'm not the Son of God. But I am a joint heir Because I accepted His Son, Jesus Christ, into my heart and into my life. So someone asked me, are you Jesus then? Uh, are you better than Jesus? And I'm like, really? I'm not, I never said that. Just because in the last days we're going to be suffering, persecution, and pressure, just like Jesus did. Because Jesus said, they, if they hated me first, they will hate you. They basically will do everything that they did to me to you.
Does that mean I'm saying I'm Jesus? No. Get that straight. I'm not Jesus Christ. I'm not the Son of God. I'm a child of God. I'm a joint heir through Jesus Christ. I'm carrying my cross. I'm not wearing a cross. I'm carrying, I'm bearing my cross. Day in and day out. Because of the pressure that a lot of you keep putting me through. On the internet. Because you think you're right, you're better, and, and you deserve what you want. Regardless of my faith. Again, as I had mentioned before, in yesterday's video, before I get off here, I wanted to go back here and uh, show you something. Let me find it here real quick. Never mind. I'll look for it later. Do another video later. God bless you. Have a blessed day.